Before the break, I asked the first now Googling question. Good question as well. Uh, the Gunners became the first opposition team to keep a Premier League clean sheet at the Etihad in 882 days of the weekend. Who was the last team to do it? It was Palace. They beat Liverpool 2-0. Was that was that the Andros Townsend goal? Was that a ridiculous game? No. Wasn't it? Okay. Uh, Palace beat City 2-0 at home in October 2021. City have scored in 50 home games in a row until their draw with Arsenal. It was such... We'll talk about the game later. It was such a boring game, wasn't it? So di- disappointed, mate. Left my dad's early for it. Really? Yeah. I feel dev- devastated. Was it, was it eight centre-halves? That, yeah. Centre-half and full-back? Eight. Arsenal, absolutely. <laughs> they yeah. didn't care. No. They're not there, they're not there I to entertain. I don't know if you take your hat off to Arteta or not. I think you have to because, you know, you'll see defensive coaches and ex-defenders say that's an art, what they did. You but, know, like keeping... Man City to not score. Haaland didn't even have a, a no. great chance. De Bruyne looked ordinary. But they did well. Like Saka was kept out. Jesus was kept of out. Of course. Which both is teams. boring. It was just boring. We'll talk about that a bit yeah. later. Would you like to hear some unbelievable acting from yours truly? Go on then, please. Right, it's time now for this. Three and three on Talk Sport with three. The UK's fastest 5G network. Verify at three.co.uk slash big network. Yeah, it's time to throw it back on... The weekend's top stories, thanks to three. Let's start. Is my acting here? Is my, is, it's time to act. <laughs> let's start in West London. Give Man United boss Eric Ten Hag... Oh, hold on. Let's, let's give it its... Let's start in West London now. Give Man United boss Eric Ten Hag a call. Let's give him a call after his team's poor performance in their 1-1 draw against Brentford on Saturday. Let's give him a call, shall we? <laughs> passion desire and they wanted more we didn't create chances so there are yeah, many things you, you can you can mention <laughs> I know there's people out there going please let this feature continue oh there's more to come don't worry about that uh, what did you make about Man United's performance at the weekend um, they've done it too many times this season and got away with it I, I, I refer to it got as got away with it well, I, as in I, got, I, a re- got a result not, yes I yeah. refer to it on Saturday as Manchester United try to steal more points like they've done this season. They don't deserve to be where they are in the league, Manchester United. Well, they United. do. They league, don't. Well, 31 shots Brentford had. 31. Yeah, league table never lies, Gab. 3-1. You know yeah, I know, I know what numbers are. 30. Even when you get them wrong. Yeah. 13th. <laughs> 13th. <laughs> 13th. F- 31 shots Brentford had. You know, they were so on top. Even Ivan Tony still after the game, like, couldn't believe that... Manchester United tried to steal it with a late Mason Man goal. Good Justice goal. was Good done goal. with the equaliser. But did they look like a team, Andy, that are fighting to get in the Champions League? Villa did against Wolves. Spurs did. The Manchester United really. look like... No. So they don't look no, like no. they're really bothered about no. getting there. It's very you know, odd. You know, what's bizarre is uh, Dan, no Dan Anderson, a big Brentford fan, we were chatting throughout the game and, of course, towards the end. Yeah. And then we were talking about it today. It was like, man, United are poor. And I went, no, no, no. That's Man United at the moment. That you, yeah. when, I just feel that when people go, Man United are poor, you're, in your head you've got Man United under Fergie. That's not where United no. are at the moment. That that performance against Brent, I've seen that millions of times. Yeah. So w- it's w- Wolves like, at home. I don't watch it go, oh my no, God, no, no, I've never no, seen no, that. No, That's no, just no, where United are yeah. at the moment. How right? many games this season? Wolves at home, Brentford at home. Too, where many. You've, Too where many. You've, where you've been the worst team and you went and won. Yeah. But the same old excuses from the manager. All right, shut up. Oh, desire, desire. That's your job, mate. Right. Finished? No. I've got more acting to do. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Press Desi- the Desire. Press. Wait, okay, well, you're going to go over the... At- oh, look! <laughs> Genuine, I'm reading. Oh, look! We've just received a voice note, would you believe, from the Fulham boss, Marco Silva. After on-fire striker Rodrigo Munoz's late scissor kick snatched his side a 3-3 draw against Sheffield United. For second half, was chance after chance, chance after chance um, that we, we, we created. And, of course, we, we scored three goals. We, we have... We had more four or five clear chances to score. The problem was the goals were conceded. What do you make of the feature so far? It's good. Hey, My acting's good, yeah. right? You, you haven't got no time now, have you? Let's do TV as well, have uh, you? Have you got time? I could Seven days. Time. I could yeah, do it in, in the morning. In the afternoon. I could, I could do this in the afternoon and I could do EastEnders in the morning. On a weekend, you can do afternoons. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. yeah, loads of time left. Yeah, loads of time. Too many hours in the day. Yeah. Uh, how impressive have you been with both the way Munez has adapted to life in the Premier League and how he's playing at the moment? What, what I like about him is that. He's all round striker. You know, we look at that finish on the weekend, unbelievable. And they've needed that since they lost Mitrovic. You know, a lot of people forget they lost their star player. Yeah. He will score their goals, link up play, everything. And Fulham are a likable team. I like the way they play. You know, a lot of teams would have been 3 1 down, game's over. 
they don't give up. Mm. And they have to play entertaining football as well because we've seen the stadium, they're building the pool. They want to attract yeah. high High in calibre. Yeah, yeah. yeah, clients they have well, Where to, should um, Fulham be? They're 12th at the moment. Where should they be? No reason why they can't be like 9th, 10th. Okay. I think top, that's, yeah. What number? 10th. 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 Honestly, stop it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me just. Would you believe it? <clears throat> Bro, who's that calling us? This is active, by the way. I'm not ad libbing. Oh, look, it's the Chelsea boss, Richard Pochettino, after he signs 2 2 draw at home to 10 man Burnley. Let's. I, it says let's answer. It should still be ringing. Should press the. <laughs> and it, and it, it's still ringing. Let's answer it and see what he has to say. Hello? The problem, you cannot concede twice. I think disappoint, I am more frustrated and disappointed because of the way that we concede, no, in, that because we didn't score more. To lose two points in this way, I think it's, 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 the feeling is it's really, really painful. Okay, bye. All right, good there. Just put the, put, the, put the phone down. Um, I'm amazed that Pochettino is not in the press more than he oh, is mate. for people questioning, is he the right man for the job? Don't get me started. Every, every time United even have um, a press conference, yeah. Eric Ten Hag out, yeah. right? I, just, I mean, he signed you 2-2 with Burnley. 10-man Burnley at home. And no one goes like, get him out. Mate, we done the show on Saturday, the game day phoning with um, Jamie. And like... Some of the fans are phoning. They've had enough of his interviews. You know, Burnley, not in a million years without a penalty on Modric. Never. Yep. Down to 10 men after 40 minutes. And they should have won it with Rodriguez at the end hitting the bar with a header. Yeah. And Tim Sherwood recently said to Cole Palmer, what would it be like if you had better players around you? And he got a lot of stick for that, Tim yeah. Sherwood. Yeah. Is he right, though? Great question. Because he's the only one who's performing in that Chelsea side. And Pochettino comes out after the game and says... If you look at the data, we should be in um, fourth place. No, you're 19 points behind. Villa in fourth place. Forget the data. You said the table doesn't lie. Yeah. Been so inconsistent, so many poor performers, so many different teams. Chelsea deserve to be where they yeah. are. You, do you know what I'm going to do? On the back of that, I'm going to block it. Block Mopo. There you go. It's blocked. <laughs> uh, that was a look back at the top stories this weekend. Thanks to three. Three and three on Talk Sport with three, the UK's fastest 5G network. Verify at three.co.uk slash big network. Now, over the weekend, Xabi Alonso put rumours of him being the next Liverpool manager to bed by saying he wanted to stay at Leverkusen until at least 2025. Former Premier League striker Troy Deeney joined the breakfast show yesterday and said that the Wolves manager, Gary O'Neill, should be the man to replace Klopp at Liverpool. Liverpool are going to be with a really young squad next year three or four of the big players could move on and he could be left with a real young squad. And I think it could be a team that just needs that younger coach who's used to working with younger players with not too much ex- uh, expectation to go and win the league. Uh, on the back mm. of that, the sm- I think it was this morning, uh, Dara McAntony was on White and Jordan, the Peterborough owner. He said that the Ipswich boss, Kieran McKenna, is destined to manage one of the top sides in English football. And, and possibly could do the gig at oh. Hanford. What do you make of that? Troy Deeney saying Gary O'Neill and mm. Darrow McAntony saying that Kieran McKenna. I just can't see it, mate. I just can't see Jurgen Klopp, what he's done at that football club. And Liverpool fans being happy with Gary O'Neill. He's done amazing. Goals. Love Gary O'Neill, by the way. Done amazing, yes. Um, Kieran McKenna has done amazing at Ipswich, but I just don't see Liverpool going for them. I'm not going to be trying to get Alonso with his Liverpool connection, what he's done at Leverkusen winning the Bundesliga, which he's going to do this season, mm-hmm. and then going and getting Gary O'Neill as the second choice. I just don't, I just don't see it. No. I am stunned Xabi Alonso is not leaving Leverkusen. I'm not. You know why, mate? I feel oh. that... We've said this before. David Moyes went in after Alex Ferguson. Yeah. It's like you're destined to fail after you've... Coming in for a manager who's been there so long and been so successful. Maybe Alonso's thinking, this team I've got here, I've got assurances that I don't have to sell any players in the summer. I'm going to be in the Champions League next season with them. I'm going to win the Bundesliga. Why would you want to go yet? He might see that Dem- Dem- his stock will never be as high as it. If they go the Why whole season, go the whole season unbeaten, and win the Bundesliga. Right? Yeah, but I still think even if they next season finish third and they they get knocked out in the group stage of the Champions League, I still think his stock is still high. Not as not as high as winning the Bundesliga without losing a game. Of course. And and live by then Liverpool will have had a manager. He might be gone. He might be gone. Of course. You know, I think Southgate would stay at Liverpool for a long, long time. <laughs> but don't you like the loyalty, though, from um, I Alonso? Think, I, I, I think it shows lack of ambition. You think so? Yeah. So, surely as a footballer, you want to go to the biggest and best clubs, right? 
Yeah. There's, there's three or four or five on the of planet. Course, right? Yeah. Ir- irrelevant of your allegiances, you either want to play for Barcelona, Real Madrid, Man United, Liverpool. Man United. <laughs> no, but I, you're going to throw that in like, you're going to throw that in like you, you, un- you understand what I'm saying, right? And I, I assume the same is for a manager, and Leverkusen aren't in that category. But take Man United out of it, and I'll take you. <laughs> Don't try and throw him in there. I was going to put Villa in, but Liverpool, I put no Liverpool, Real Madrid, yeah. Barcelona. Yeah. Man yeah. United. No, no, that's a massive club, you know. No, I, but, I, get, I get what you're saying, but what I see is that he probably backs himself. He knows what he's done this season isn't a fluke. He knows how good he is as a manager. He's got a good group of players there. Maybe sometimes he's thinking, you know what? I don't have to go yet. I'm a young manager as well. I've got time to go and manage Liverpool. Okay. Definitely probably doesn't want to go buy Munich. Why would he want to go to buy mm. Munich? Big club, of course, but Leverkusen, he probably wants to win another Bundesliga next season. To be arse. So, why, why though? But to win it in the style they've they've done it in without dropping without dro- without yeah, any he, defeats of course but he probably won't do that again but there's no reason why he can't win it next season no of course as well. not but you you would like to think that Bayern Munich won't let it happen again and will be stronger you say that though but if he's got a good group of players there yeah. it doesn't have to sell anybody it's very defensive on this game yeah I just see that like people talk about loyalty with okay. players if you were at Leverkusen yeah. right and you'd scored 40 goals this season yeah and, and Liverpool were coming in for you yeah and Bayern Munich are you staying at Leverkusen? No, I'm not. There you go. But he's he's new to management. Maybe he's thinking, you know what, I'll bide my time. This Liverpool job, mm, Salah might go, Van Dijk doesn't seem certain he'll stay. It might not okay. be an easy job to go into for the, the next Liverpool oh. manager. We agree to disagree. That's why we love football. Yeah. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.